Hey, follow me. Come on. Hey, give that to me. Uh uh, I'm gonna hide. Well, you tripped me. I'll teach you, you. Uh oh. Don't say it. Don't say what? Well, I was afraid you're perhaps gonna take God's name in vain. You shouldn't do that. Whatever are you talking about? How on earth could I take Baal's name in vain? I don't mean Baal. I mean God, Jehovah. If we love God and obey Him, we won't use His name irreverently. Say, you are green. You've been living with Elijah up there in the mountains of Gilead so long. You don't know what's what. Why all of Israel is worshiping Baal now because Queen Jezebel commands it. After all, she is the high priestess of Baal, and she sure is pretty. Yeah, but Baal's only an image. Jehovah's the true God. I'll never worship Baal. You will if you know what's good for you. And you better not let anyone hear you talking about Jehovah. It's not exactly healthy, if you know what I mean. Elijah, is it true that all Israel is supposed to worship Baal? Well, the queen has commanded it, and most of the people do worship Baal. But there are many who remain true to Jehovah. Isn't he the God who delivered Moses and his people from Egyptian bondage? Yes, my son. Well. Then he must also be the God of creation. He certainly is. Is there any other God with the power to create? None, my son, none. Jehovah created and sustains all things. Other gods are false, all of them. They have no life, no power. Products of the imagination, mere objects of wood and stone, images. Well, why do people worship them if they have no power of life? Uh, that is a good question, my son, and can be answered in one way only. All false gods, all false religions, all lies, all evil, everything in this world that is not good is the product of the arch enemy of God, Satan. Why does Satan hate God? Well, you know, he was once called Lucifer and occupied a position of honor and trust in the courts of heaven. But he became jealous, envious, full of pride, and together with one third of the angels, he rebelled against God and was expelled from heaven. Through the weakness and fall of Adam, Lucifer took over dominion of this earth until the coming of the Messiah, whom every Israelite mother hopes and prays will be her son, we will continue to have sin. But through the Messiah, we will be redeemed from the dominion of Satan, from evil, wickedness, and sorrow, and death. We don't have to obey Satan, worship him or his false gods, do we? Even if the king and queen say to? Oh, no. The God of heaven wants us to worship and obey him. If we do, he will send his angels to protect us against the evil power of Satan. Well, then I shall always worship the true God. I shall always worship and obey Jehovah. Even though King Ahab ordered the worship of Baal? Well, which is right, to obey God or the king? Mm, you are wise, my son. We should, first of all, obey God, then the king if the king's orders are not in direct conflict with the will of God. But Elijah, if I obey God, and, and it happens to be against the king's orders, I still have nothing to fear, not if God is really the true and living God. He'll take care of me, won't he? Yes, son, he will. O oh God in heaven, the one and only true and living God, I want to worship and obey thee in all things. I want to love and serve thee, but I know not how. Teach me thy will, O Lord. Teach me obedience. Teach me hatred of evil and love of good. Teach me to conduct myself in accordance with thy will, that others may know. O God of love, God of compassion, God of all that is good, I thank thee for teaching me thy ways. I thank thee for teaching me to walk in the path of righteousness. I thank thee for the light of truth that thou hast shown me, and grant that I may let thy light shine unto me. O God of mercy, I pray unto thee with constant hope that somehow Israel shall come to know the awfulness of her ways and the terrible results of sin. O oh God, help King Ahab remove sin from his life and lead Israel into the paths of righteousness. O oh God, if it be thy will, thou canst show unto King Ahab the... Elijah, 
son of Amri, thou hast loved and obeyed me since the days of thy youth. Thou hast walked in the path of righteousness. Henceforth thou shalt be my representative, my prophet. Get you up out of Gilead, and go to Samaria, unto King Ahab, and say unto him, Elijah, something troubles you, son. Perhaps you would do well to tell me what it is. I... I must go to Samaria to... to see King Ahab. You have to go? God commanded it. I have a message for the king. You have... Son, you... Have you been chosen by God to be a prophet? Yes, mother. Israel has long needed a true prophet to make known God's displeasure at the great apostasy in Israel and to lead her back to the worship of God. How soon will you be leaving, son? In the morning, at sunup. Is... Is the message for King Ahab one of... of sadness or of joy? Sadness, mother. All Israel will be affected and sorrowed, so much so that the message itself is hard to believe. You don't believe it? Of course I believe it, mother, every word of it. I know not how it can possibly be true and come about, but it will. It is God's word, and God's word never faileth. This forest, with its stately trees, green and beautiful, seems beyond the reach of decay and ugliness, yet sin is here. This ever-flowing stream, the hills covered with verdure, everything that the eye can see is clothed with beauty, beauty and life put here and sustained by God beauty of all these created things, created for the pleasure of man, they shall come to an end, so as to humble apostate Israel through judgment and suffering, that Israel may be brought to repentance back into the fold of those who love and worship the God of love. Oh, there it is. Samaria, the capital of Israel. Its fortifications are so strong and perfect that mere man has no way to penetrate the walls and capture the city. The powerful, unscrupulous King Ahab with his equally unscrupulous Queen Jezebel is within those walls. I must go in. I must give the king the message of doom. The king and queen will be furious, yet I, I fear not, for God's angels will protect me from their wrath. I worship a wonderful and all-powerful God. In him is my trust and all my love. The king and queen are as powerless as a grain of sand to harm me against God's will. <laughs> 